Oh, 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 mercy. Hey, folks, friends, loved ones, this is Bubba again coming at you with another ghost town feature here in Georgia. Uh, we are over here. We're going into a uh, ghost town right outside of uh, Warrington, Georgia, over here in Glasgow County called Mitchell, Georgia. Now, this is uh, a ghost town as per se, uh, business-wise and everything. And uh, the population has died over the years. And uh, we're approaching in the center of downtown. And there's the old commu Mitchell Community Center, and that's uh, that's uh, part of the old school, I believe. And those folks still live here in this town. That's one of the churches, graveyards here. And these folks still live in this town and still is incorporated in it and completely dead. But downtown area is dead. They, um, decades ago, there's some empty houses. There's one right here on this corner. There's one still with people living in it. Don't go on house there. But, uh, there's old depot over here. We're going to pull over here. We're going to walk and just do some pictures of this old downtown area and uh, see the city hall and the fire department over there. But as far as that, there ain't nothing downtown here. I don't think they have had anything open down here in a long time. So I'm going to get out here and walk this and uh, give some ideas what this old town looks like. This is old railroad town here and everything. And uh, I'm going to start over here on this corner here. I'll let you get a picture of this old old building over here. See these old beautiful buildings over here on this street. And ain't even not one of these buildings here are open. walk down through here and uh, see these old buildings here. As far as traffic, there's 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 a lot of traffic that's thrill, still through here in this old town. And this is a beautiful old town. It wouldn't take much to put the, these old stores back into business and everything. Down here every year, we're going to walk back around through here. Give you another shot of the layout down here. I'm sorry about all the bumpy here. I'm using my cell phone and the quality here. Not all that good. There's a picture of the old merchandise store. I'm not so sure what the other building used to be over there. I'm going to walk down through here back behind these buildings and we got a few stuff down through here. The back side of these buildings downtown. And uh, see the old farm implements over there. So, kind of like an old alleyway behind these old buildings. Everything. I think the last business might have closed down here. I think it was a restaurant on the main street that used to be. A little restaurant there. I think that's about like the last merchandise. Shut it down. About like in 2000 or so. But here, got some old buildings. This old town, they kind of fixed up. And these are some old rebeautification of the downtown area because they have a festival here every year. That, that was the old hotel smokehouse. See, step back here to get a better view of these old buildings here. Everything. Another shot of this old alleyway here. Which is an old house over there. And here we got the old post office 
Now this old post office is uh, from Scruggsville. So they give you an old, old view of this. It says uh, Scruggsville, Georgia. 1886 post office. Ain't that neat, folks? And this was brought over here and set down here to this. And what we got here is a little, kind of like a public park here. And right along here, the, uh, the old train depot is in the same spot that it, it was when the railroad used to run down through here. Let's go down through here and catch a little bit of this old, old uh, deck train depot and we'll come back up the other side and catch the other side of town here. And see, I've always, all my life, been fascinated here with the uh, Metro Georgia. And one time this old train depot just about fell in. And still got the old sign on it to talk about the... Uh, uh, Metro Georgia here. This is like a little walking park that they have here. And a beautiful train depot. The little sign says parking, picnic area, and restrooms and entrance. And here's a thing from Sox about Metro Georgia. Dedication marker. Born of a railroad, 100 years. From 1896 to 1996. Named in the honor of Robert M. Mitchell, president of the Augusta Southern Railroad. Let's walk around here. Let's go up these steps and get a little tour of this depot here. Walk down through here. Now we probably can't go inside everything. They got all kinds of antiques in there. Look at these old planters they got here. Everything. I'm going to step down here on this side and we just walk around here. And view this old depot. It's sad about the history of some of these towns here. How things turned out. This is a thriving town at one time. So warehouse door to the depot. Here. here, we're probably you know, going to the waiting area here. So they redid this depot years back. And this is what it says, uh, Mitchell Depot Historical Museum, Mitchell, Georgia, erected circa 1886 as a passenger freight depot for the Augusta Gibson and Sandersville Railroad. In 1894, the line was extended to Pennell, Georgia, became known as the Augusta Southern Railroad, and continued to operate until 1934. The depot restoration was done between 1998 and 2002, so that's been, been about uh, 15 years ago. But I've always loved this old depot here. I'm sad we couldn't get in the museum here. Everything. But take you around this little park here. Let's see if we can see anything in there. You see they got a lot of antiques in there. In the museum. I just wish I could go in there and tour. But they're not open. Sorry about that, folks. And uh, we're going to walk around this little park. They do still have some business over there. I forgot about that old uh, place over there. They make fence posts over there. So uh, Mitchell here, as far as the town, is not completely dead. But it's not what it used to be. All the downtown area, as you can see, has done died out. But it's still a little community here that... Uh, uh, you, as you can tell, loves this heritage. Got a little old house here that the uh, city acquired and kind of like fixed it up over here. Uh, we'll go on and get a picture of it. Turn around and go get the other side of the house.
see what does it say on this uh, beautiful house. It says Sarah's Playhouse. A uh, little house was built as a playhouse for Sarah Kitchens, Spratlin. Sarah was the only child of Terrell and Betty Luke Kitchens. The house was located at their home directly across from the highway from its present location. After Sarah grew up, the place house was moved to its present location and used as a tenant house for many years. Eventually, the house and land were sold by Sarah's daughter, Lou Terry Sprantley, and Betty Pope Sprantley to the town of Mitchell. Oh, wow. Big old house like this was uh, used a playhouse as a tenant house. What kind of person has that kind of money <laughs> to give their daughter a big old house like like that. Wow. Folks here, picnic area in this little small town, places for children to go and play. So they've really got this little little place fixed up. Here's another view of the house. And look at this, it's got old wood railroad right here. And on some of the old railroad tracks. Ain't that neat, folks? Get your picture of that old wood locomotive right there. Another lay of the picnic area. See, this is old town. Many of the ghost towns that are here in the state of Georgia are based off of the old railroad. Some of them are still in existence, but as far as a, like a railroad, town and everything, being alive and stuff, most of them are long gone. They're a thing of the past. There's another thing that shows you Mitchell's Depot. Over there we got a backside of that uh, old store or place when they use it down here for festivals. Got an old gulf Oil company sign. Back to the whole water tower over there. If you look over in the corner there, have a grocery store over there right up past the red light. I mean, there is no grocery store here in Mitchell whatsoever. They're not even a Dollar General. And I've seen towns a whole lot smaller than this, my friends. I had a Dollar General, places where people really can go get a cold drink in here. Mitchell don't even have that no more. Folks have to go either to Sandersville down the road or go to Warrington to buy groceries. There's nothing here. Now, if you're ever down here in Georgia, here's a sign pointed here. Rayleigh's Restaurant, and they got some good food. Open on Friday and Saturday nights. It's four miles back this way. Pass through downtown. Got some of the best <coughs> southern fried catfish, chicken. It's open. And here, see this old building here? Everything's about dead. And they got the post office down there. And that building. Amico Station is dead. So here's the old downtown section here. All that just about there. Not one business open. We went down through here and catch all of this. Look over here. That building down there where that truck's parked at and got lights on. Looks like it's doing it. That's an old railroad warehouse we used to have here. But at one time that place was also known as Coleman Chevrolet, it's a car dealership. And folks, for the most part, this is all there is 
of uh, Metro Georgia over in Glasgow County. Well, folks, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you hit the like button down below and uh, share it if you enjoyed it. And if you're, in, uh, you're a person that enjoys Ghost Town, and uh, let me encourage you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Jewish Redneck Prepper. Well, folks, until the next time, this is old Bubba saying goodbye and shalom, and enjoy the journey. Thank you. God bless.